That's how I, that's how I see it. I'm not saying I'm right, but I just, I just see it as like, there's a lot of people that are, that are like, I don't, I don't want to say they're looking for a place to grift. Cause there's a lot of us that are just waiting to see how, like where, where the cookie crumbles. We are, we're, we're firm in our beliefs. We know what we stand for this, that, the other. So there's no reason to get all hyped and jumped and all this, that, the other thing about this, that, the other. We can get mad at some people that said that they would pull their weight, not pull their weight, this, that, the other. But you don't see a whole lot of people literally just, how to say it? You don't see a whole lot of people that are legitimate, just like solidified in what they believe, jumping ship. That's the easiest way for me to say it. I don't see a lot of people I know that are conservatives or uh, center right or uh, like fiscal conservatives. I, you know, I, I don't see a lot of those people grifting or switching sides as easily as I see some people that are, I guess we're just there for the moment, the moment of the movement, because the minute they seen Trump could lose, they were off. They were on the, they were on to the next team it was that fast. And uh, we have uh, a lot of like uh, Republican in name only rhinos, you know, those motherfuckers are never Trumpers or this, that, that, that are coming out now doing, doing their own like per se runs against Trump. And runs to why this, why Trump should just concede and give up, or why his base should, or this, that, the other. You got a lot of people that are really investing time, effort, and energy into it, and you can tell that they're just shysty, shysty motherfuckers, just shysty. And you still see calls for unity and civility, and you see them more so now than you did a week ago. You know what I'm saying? You see, they're they're heavy. There's a lot of people out that are calling for it. They, they really believe on the left that every Trump supporter should just give in and concede and just accept it as for what it is and this, that, the other, and that we should give Biden all the respect and give him a chance and this, that, the other. And it's just, it's, it's completely baffling. I mean, I think it's baffling to a lot of people. And I think that's why it's so easy to keep getting brought up because you see it so often. You see it in almost every argument now more so, it's still like, hey, you're a fucking idiot, but you should give him more respect now, rah, 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 because if you don't, then you're not being the American, because you're not doing the, what you're not doing what you said you would do, you're not accepting the loss, there's still, there's still Democrats and Libertarians and liberals that do not accept the loss of 2016 from Hillary Clinton, they're still like, nah, mm -mm, Trump was never my president, man, he, nope, fuck him. Nope, mm -mm, nope, mm -mm, nope. Never gave him a chance. Beat up the supporters, chased down the supporters, went to every rally to cause as much havoc in hell as one could. All in the name of disliking him. But then to sit and say that, oh, we need to, we need solidarity, we need unity, we need this to heal America, and this, that, the other, and. Nah, man, especially when you got AOC and all them calling for fucking lists to be made and re-education camps and this, that. They're like, nah, man, you ain't going to get that. I know more uh, Republicans and conservatives now they're talking about, nah, we don't want unity. We want the truth. We'll wait four years. We got unity on our side. We don't need yours. Nope. Mm-mm. But for four years... Four years, almost. Nobody would give Trump or his administration or his base. They couldn't or they wouldn't. They wouldn't give him a win. Not for the peace deals. Not for his walk with Kim Jong-un through the DNZ. Not for his... Uh, um, hits on uh, Soleimani. And Al Baghdadi. Not for bringing down the cost of prescriptions, even if it was a little bit. Not for border control. Not for the tax breaks. 
not for being okay with gay marriage and being okay with gay people and not for bringing companies back to the United States and not for his great response to the COVID compared to other world leaders and could never give him a win. Not one. Not for any of those things could they give him a win. Not once. And yet they want everybody on the right to give Biden a chance to win everything right out the gate because they say he should. Now there's a line that I that I've heard before. Not everybody that voted for Biden is a pedophile, but it wasn't a deal breaker for them to vote him in. And that's fucked up. Maybe it's a not not every one of his base is a pervert, but it wasn't a deal breaker for them to vote him in. Because they didn't care if he was, because they weren't. It's fucked up. I'm not saying he's a pedophile, that's that was wrong of me to say that. But he does have some perverted actions, especially when it comes to sniffing kids' arms and hairs and shit, legs and shit. Not not sniffing their arms and legs, but rub, like rubbing their arms and sniffing them. That's just weird shit. Especially when he was like, oh yeah, they used to rub my leg in the pool or however that weird fucking story was. Definitely weird, but again, like I've said before, these are all just my opinions, but I just, when I see the left, man, say that we got to give them the win or this, that, the other. It just is insane to me, man. Especially when they go to bat for Biden and don't really know anything that he stands for. They just know what they stand for and they think that's what he stands for. And that's not normally how that works. And we got the, we got Facebook and Twitter out here still censoring motherfuckers left and right. And if you go on Facebook or Twitter... With uh, any argument that's, or any opinion, not even argument, any uh, any opinion that's not far left or progressive, you're probably going to get dogpiled on by at least 20 people that dislike you for whatever reason that they can come with, up with when your profile picture or your bio, whatever they can come up with, they're going to try. Physical threats and verbal threats stacked like Legos, man. They could have a Lego kingdom built at this point with how many threats they've done laid out. Let's keep it 1,000. Now, when we think of the the like the <clears throat> Try not to cough my bed. <coughs> when we see the, I guess they could call them like Trump haters, whatever they are. When we see those people d- just destroy their friendships or whatever it is for their beliefs or per se the other person's belief and not backing theirs, it's kind of, it's kind of wild because you're just like, wow, that's really, you're going to, you're going to wait. I, I, I've seen long-term friendships ended over Trump arguments and this, that, the other, like, done. And I think you're really going to end the friendships over that. And a lot of people are like, yeah, they're done. And it just, that to me, that's just, it's baffling. I've seen, like I said, I've seen friendships implode and it's just, it's insane. And then. This last weekend, on Saturday, you had Trump supporters come out in California in full force to recall Newsom. Signs they had COVID scam signs amongst hundreds of other signs. They want Newsom gone. And, I mean, they had, they had like, the, like Newsom came out and did that thing with his friends for his birthday or whatever it was. Didn't wear the mask at the dining table, this, that, the other. But still is going to preach uh, to wear a mask, not to go out and about, not to do this, that, the other, but yet he's going to not listen to his own words. Uh, Americans, I think, are becoming more done with it than not, if, if that's the easiest way to say it. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of Americans aren't playing the game anymore of, oh, be a, let's be afraid, let's be, a, let's, be on the, let's be on guard, let's worry, this, that. They're not playing it no more. They're done. 
They understand COVID's a thing. They understand it's real. And they're going to take their precautions, but they're going to go about living their lives. And I think for a lot of liberals, that pisses them off. Especially when they're like, oh, well, it offends me if they don't wear a mask or they don't do this or they don't, or you shouldn't want to, you shouldn't want to send your kid to school or you shouldn't want to do this or this. Like you don't want, you're impeding on, every, like a lot of liberals are impeding on other people's lives and they don't see it as them impeding. They don't see it as them trying to implement their reign on someone else's life. They don't see it as that. They try to say, well, I'm doing the right thing. So that's why I'm able to do it. When in reality, it's not the right thing and they're just doing whatever they want to do. But to see people in California come out like that, it makes a huge difference, in my opinion. Now, Gavin Newsom came out with a 10 p.m. curfew for residents in California. And there's... Are you... It's 10, there's adults out here that... there. That What about if you work later than 10 p.m.? Those things, da, da, da. There's a lot of There's a lot of questions there. But to implement a curfew is like the start of the lockdown seemingly all over again. He's going to cancel uh, indoor dining the day before Thanksgiving. So he really he really is a dick. But let's keep that 1,000. Now, I don't think New- Newsom gives a rat's ass about any constituents that don't buy into his bullshit at all. Let's keep it at 1,000. But there is a... Plus there, you have multiple uh, sheriffs in California that said they would not enforce the said curfew. You have sheriffs in uh, uh, Oregon that literally said, oh, we're not going to be arresting anybody for having Thanksgiving. Because the the governor in in Oregon said they can only have six people from two families. So you can have three people from two households come over and have Thanksgiving. That's it. They're fucking nuts trying to cancel Thanksgiving as they're going to go have these wild fucking everybody in their family come over. I guarantee they do not abide by what they preach. Now, (laughs) knowing that they don't follow suit when it comes to the vaccine, I don't know how the governors are going to want to push that one because they're going to try to tell everybody that they're going to have to get it. Watch. I think that's what they're going to say. I think they're going to tell everybody, oh, we gotta, everybody's got to take it. You had one doctor, I don't know if it was on CNN or Fox News, say they could only get, they could only say 44% of uh, Americans said they would take the vaccine. One doctor said on Fox News, you'd have to have 70% that are willing to take it. I don't think you got 70% that are of Americans that are willing to take that vaccine. Yet another doctor, I believe it was on CNN, saying that you have to get one shot and it hurts or it may, can make you sick. And then you have to go get a follow-up one. People ain't going to want to go do that shit. No way. I can't, I can't imagine that there's going to be a whole lot of people that are going to want to uh, subject themselves to that shit. I just can't imagine. And I know there are people that are going to jump at it. But I know there's a lot that aren't. And, uh... It's... And the 70%, if you get 70%, that would, ha- that would be able to help with, like, the herd immunity aspect that they basically said, fuck all with months ago. I mean, yeah, he had Rand Paul on Fox News today. Now, this is, this, I don't have any notes on this, but he was sitting there saying, he was saying that uh, it's in, it, COVID is imploding and exploding everywhere, right? It's not just being in one or two places. It's everywhere it's popping up. It's everywhere. It doesn't matter if you're masked up or got the face shield. People are getting sick all over. And it's, uh, and that's true. People are, it's just, it's happening. And he's basically, what, what did he say it's called? Uh, I can't remember what he called it. But it's just, it's, COVID just running rampant, basically, doing what it's going to do. So, and basically until a vaccine comes, and you guess that you can get people to take it, it's going to just run its course and going to do, I guess, what it's going to do. But with all the treatments we do have, this, that, the other... Yeah, I guess I, I guess.